Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nier Balfo, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be playing, showing some EU4 off. It's an expected only game. Excuse me, but I said it so, um. AR is going to instantly finish all these <laughs> within like two weeks. So, yeah, let's see how this, let's see how this happens. I'm using the Rope 66 mod and two console commands, which are force no checks and force focuses that auto complete. Alright, let's press start and see what happens. Oh. The first few days it's gonna be. Okay. Ethiopia just annexed um, Ital the Italian Somaliland holdings. There's an Iranian civil war. Okay, I'm not really sure what these uh, dynasties are. Apparently, Turkey, Afghan, and uh, Iraq and Iran are all the same faction. Some wars going on. China's invading. Oh, what function is that actually? I'm not gonna function, what focus is that actually? Turkey, it's either war with Iran. Watch Iran though. I'm going on the faction. So the North Iran. No, the South Iran. I know actually Turkey's invading Iran. Belgium claiming more than Netherlands. Germany's puppeted. Um, Yugoslavland. Yugoslavland. Um, Czech Slovak for me. And Turkey's also with Bulgaria, even though all their armies in Asia minor. Denmark just cleared War on the Rake. We got with Bulgaria, or with Greece, and we're with, with Iran. Ooh. Okay, that's awkward. So yeah, Turkey's going to capitulate pretty fast. I think it's going to be Bulgaria, because Bulgaria is clearly much like Istanbul. Fans and own Celestial Empire faction. Along with China, Ooh, Japan actually think nope, they're in public with them, they're just in the faction with them. Okay, then never seen that happen before. Republican Spain is at war with Cuba. Cuba joined Malay's faction. I don't know, I'm almost like dying in the background. No, oh, uh, that's the US faction. Here, near the Axis. Yeah, it's Turkey's, it's Turkey screwed. Iran going to war with. Oh, they want Damascus. Damascus. <laughs> Everything went to hell so fast. Surprisingly, the Soviets only at war with... Iran. 
Iran and Iraq. That's America's job. Ethiopia. <gasps> Conquering the world. And the Saudis are over with Yemen. The Malay People's Republic. And the Soviet Islands of Indonesia. <sighs> Having fun chilling out over there. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening anymore. Um, is there a ledger in this game? I don't think there is. Oh, I can go here to see active wars. <laughs> That's a lot of wars. <laughs> okay, so British Iraqi, Turco Greek, Turco Bulgarian, Turco Iranian, Ital 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 Greek, Belgian Dutch, Iranian French, Spanish French, Danish German, Japanese American. Spanish Civil War, Spanish Cuban War, Saudi Arabian Omari War, Ethiopian Omari War, Ethiopian Yemeni War, Siamese Civil War, Malaysian Civil War, Ethiopian British War. No, I'm just gonna zoom out, see what happens, see what comes, see what happens. I'm gonna lie, this is really, this is really fun to watch. I swear. No, Indian People's Republic. I believe in you. Also, I am. Um, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I have no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> okay, Turkey finished instruction one. Oman joined the Allies. I should. Oh, Turkey's holding the Straits. Oh. If it loses, if it loses battle, they're screwed. Like they just get blitzkrieged from the Bulgars. Why do Soviets have a claim on Istanbul? Well, that's probably from their focuses. I mean, it's in the base game actually. Claim the Straits. Yeah, this is normal. Surprising that Germany's only at war with um. Most of the world, not the Soviets yet. Belgium's are worth the allies somehow. Oh yeah, because the Netherlands. The French are reclaiming the right for land. Hungary joined the Axis. Hungary's going for the classic borders. All they need to do is, is integrate Slovakia. And some US level ones, no one cares about. It'll be EU4 all over again. Speaking of which, if you guys like to see me play some EU4, comment that down below. Um, I really want to play some EU4 on this channel, but uh, you see, I'm horrible at the game, and I'll lose interest really fast, because I can't just do something like this. Don't have... What the hell, dude? Let's go to South Africa. England, silly. Yep, completed everything. Oh, I don't have the DLC, do I? So I can't. Yeah, you guys should buy me the DLC. Six wars. Here's one. Um, gonna get the new DLC for this game once it goes on sale. I just don't even have to get the victor yet. I have most of the DLC for all the all the um non. I have. That's a lie. I don't have any DLC for this game. I have all the DLC for you four and like three DLCs for. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna get in so you can see everything. I think oh god spectate I think will I don't want to have oh. excuse me any observer UIs 
Finland Civil War is annexing Scandinavia. What? What? Right, so Tanzman Noria gives them Lapland, Lapia, and Finnmark. Or Nord Nord and Lapland. But not Murmansk, Laponian. The Lupin Peninsula. I'm saying that's so wrong, dude. Who well, else? Something about Bastion Fash? Because Tilinski is actually get conquered. Or not, because. I would say my announcements. That's annoying. Germany's going to war with everyone as usual. Denmark in the eyes, Turkey and Afghanistan, and Republic in Spain. Ethiopia. Turkey's probably gonna be oh they lost the straits, they're dead. This is gonna be a good campaign. This is already more interesting than most of the ga game normally is. Who's the US at war with? Favelas, Port Portuguese, Spain, Japan. Yeah, this is Spain, Japan. I don't think the US is gonna be able to um, respond to Japan. As, uh, my biggest issue with the game is lack of straights. I feel like this should, uh, should be straight right here. T connecting Malay to Sumatra. They're going to connect to Java. And then I think from here to here. And then to Sulawesi. To Brunei. And then to um, the Philippines. Which should have like straights. Throughout them like they, like they do in U4. Then like a court, of course, one to here in Kyushu to South Korea. The biggest complaints about the game's map design. So Ethiopia having some fun. And there's a French, and Vicky France is at war with... No, Free France is at war with... Which they didn't. Of course they didn't. Are they at war, Germany? Is that around? Nope. Um, Denmark still doesn't be able to capitulate because they can just hold, these island, hold this island. I think Denmark's really fun. Like, would I know? Just like, just fortify, um, this South Jutland. South Jutland. And it's like instantly rush for the uh, Kiel Canal. And then you basically have the German Navy cut in half. I just started most of it in Prussia. I mean, not, yeah, in Prussia, and the AI doesn't know how to respond. I didn't know the Denmark game. Ooh, Turkey's actually playing for resistance. And the Kingdom of Iraq's lost control of that. Iran is expanding into Iraq. I don't know what the soap is yet, TBH.
Belgium is remaining independent from Germany. The province of Holland split. And I have three clones as my generals. What Ethiopia's doing? They're doing pretty well. Oh yeah, so there's pretty straight here in Djibouti. Or French, or French Somaliland, I'm sorry. Thank to Yan. Or you don't know, no, I don't care which one. Okay, so now I will work with Spain. I'm not, I am. Ethiopia is. North America looks surprisingly st solid. Probably because I don't think anyone here has an actual custom um, chain event, uh, event, not event, um, focus groups to the mod. Mexico might. Oh no, Brazil's actually worth Argentina. And Mexico does. Let's see anything good. Wait, it just ended? And Canada's making fall in, then fall in Portugal. Hell's happening. I'm traveling late. Yeah, so I think Brazil is the only country that has an actual tag. Silly running. I mean, not actual tag, actual focus tree. It's got the Great War Armored Car, though, which is nice. Mexico might? Nope. And, uh, nope, because you need to see for that one. Thanks, Paradox. The new Mongol Empire definitely does. Yeah. China. China, 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 China. And the Celestial Empire. I'm gonna finish up this year, this year and then it's gonna be the end of this episode. Maybe in the series. Actually, it's gonna be exactly 20 minutes long. This post is gonna say bird. Watch it. Oh, wait, it's opening time. Oh well. Bird's a great group. You shall join it. Okay, so Jim. There's a great war. I'm just awkwardly trying to commentate this, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for December. So I think we're gonna reach 20 minute mark first. We keep France and National Spain are the same color. Oh yeah, Spanish, Spanish Navarre, or Aquitaine. The Pyrenees people shall be independent. Re the Pyrenees at the best, I'm sorry. E4 senses tingling. Okay, so I'll be straight between Ceylon or Ceylon, Sri Lanka, Ceylon, and um, India. But the comics, you know, blah, the Indian Revolution it looks like it's about to win the war, the Civil War. But Iraq is, is fending off as Favela Prime annexes Favela Minor. I want to see Colombia reform its rightful land, aka okay, Venezuela and Panama. Not Costa Rica. They're almost communist. Oh, sure, because like, you know, we'll see the United South American States go full E4. Revolutionary Cuba, that happened for years earlier.
Yes, is over with Canada. No, I'm wrong. Is there somewhere in Canada? No? That's just red for some reason. Happy New Year! Yay! December, January 1st, 1937. Anyways, guys, this is the end of this episode. If you'd like to see more videos of this, blah blah blah, like, comment, subscribe. Episode 2 is going to be coming up soon. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good night.